PSI tests often require investment in major items of capital equipment. One such item is the Gonio photometer at the Hemel Hempstead site. Rob Hine details the tasks undertaken by the equipment. Yes, this piece of equipment is called the Gonio photometer and it's specifically designed to view the luminaire from every conceivable angle. The equipment then measures the intensity of light from the luminaire and builds up a kind of picture of the light intensity distribution. Basically, the luminaire spins around in the axis that you see and the mirror mounted on the large arm spins from the bottom of the room to the top of the room. The light reflects off of this large mirror and down a light tunnel to a photocell and the photocell measures the intensity of the light at all these different angles. The photocell itself has a special filter in, called a V-lambda correction filter and this means that the photocell actually sees light the same way that the human eye does. Why is this test important? Well, lighting designers will actually use the photometric data that we give them from this piece of equipment to decide how many luminaires of a certain type uh, they would need in a room of a given ceiling height, for example, with certain reflectances off the walls, for applications for which the room is designed. The Chartered Institute of Building Service Engineers publish a guide which will actually tell them specific values of light that are required in certain applications. For example, in a hospital operating theatre, you need very high levels of light, whereas perhaps in the ward you wouldn't need such high levels. This is a large mirror. How much does it weigh? And how on earth did you get it into this room? It actually weighs 240 kilograms. And um, actually this is our second mirror. The first mirror was broken in transit when it was sent from Germany in a ship. When the crate arrived and we opened it up, it was cracked right through the centre. So I'm sure that gave the captain of the ship more than seven years bad luck. In order to get it into the room, the room is specifically designed with a removable wall. This is in case we ever have to ship the equipment to a different site or if there's maintenance required and the mirror has to be removed. So the wall is designed to fold back and it comes in on a forklift truck. It's moved into position on an adjustable jig and then screwed into place. 